Welcome to the UFC 272 press conference from Las Vegas, Nevada. Saturday night at T-Mobile Arena. Good friends turn bitter enemies as one of the UFC's most intense rivalries comes to a head. First up, one of the biggest stars in the sport. A man with the distinct honor of owning the fastest finish in UFC history. And the BMF Championship. Here is the one and only Jorge Gamebred Masvidal! And his opponent, a brash, iron-fisted wrestler, a man who talks a big game and backs it up when the octagon door closes. Please welcome the two-time UFC title challenger and the number one ranked welterweight in the world, Colby Chaos Covington! What's up, guys? How are you today? You ain't gonna do shit, bro. Stop acting tough. Thanks Keep for coming out. out. We appreciate it. Who's got the first question? John yeah, I'd like to start with, uh, well, I don't want to interrupt the conversation that's happening behind you, but I'd like to start with Jorge, if possible. Uh, Jorge, obviously- this John, I said you couldn't ask a question today, unless you uh, give me 10 push-ups. You said you had one lung yesterday. It's not my fault you ate your other lung. I Shut the fuck up, Kobe. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Let him talk and shut the fuck up. Hey, uh, why are you so mad, bro? Uh, why are you so mad, bro? Because I can't stand your ass, bro. I can't stand people to talk about people's I remember kids, when you used to tell me you lies. get mad when you're scared. It's yeah. okay to be oh, scared, bro. Right. I know you're scared. So scared it's okay, bro. big dog. So I know you're scared. scared bro. Yeah, you scared? More oh, than anything, I hate fake scared. people. Oh, you know? you're scared. You, your, you got to look at your phone? Oh, that's so cute. Look at this little journeyman that got to look at his phone. He can't even do this off script. What was your question? Well, Jorge, I was going to ask you, I mean, this is, we're seeing you guys together on stage for the first time, but I just wonder if you guys have crossed paths at all, or if you've seen anything from this week. Have you picked up any vibe? I mean, you know him really well. What vibe are you getting from Colby uh, Covington? The UFC keeps this little bitch well hidden from me, man. Little bitch. Have you woken up yet? Little bitch. I thought you were still sleeping. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I didn't know you woke up yet. Uh -huh. Jorge Masvidal's my best friend. I love him more than myself. Shut no, the actually, fuck up. No, actually, you were saying that on camera. Shut the he just said that eight months ago. Shut the, the fuck up. King. Shut the Kobe's fuck the up, king. bitch. This high school shit saying. is boring. This Dana Jones beat this, this guy's, guy's ass or fuck. Didn't graduate oh, fuck fucking up. middle school. He wants to talk about oh, no oh, bills oh, and loss. Oh, hey, George, tell me how a bill How much paper are you getting again? Bro. Can't even make fun of your words. You're talking about numbers. You don't even know how to count. Look, You're illiterate. Check this out. You can't even I count. Am, but I'm going to make money from you always. My last paper, you did this more than your last paper. You. You're irrelevant. It's your bitch ass right here. You're dumb fuck. I'm going to make money from you for life, brother. You realize you they tried to put you on this the third fight down with that Edward residuals, Which you're not going to get enough either. I saved your life to either. get this main event. You should be thanking me, bitch. You're not going to get no pay per views. You're a bitch. You're still nobody. Am. This is the last fight you ever fight this in your career. This is for sale. You won't be fighting out again. I made it a one on one um, Panini trading card. This is for sale right bitch. here because I'm always going to make bitch money off this bitch. ain't going to do anything. So He's a nobody. It's a, nah. Come on, He's man. We got way better offers than that, brother. Come on, man. Jorge, Yo, we've seen... Hey, George, tell everything. me how a bill becomes you know a law. Saying? I want to know how a bill becomes a law. You know tell me, you know so much uh, about politics. You were trying to say, you know so much about politics. Let's no, hear it. No, but I know about breaking your face, bitch. No, tell you, you don't know shit. You were still sleeping from your last you fight. I'm surprised they woke you up off. to come you to this fight. I'm thankful. You got, I know you still might back off. out before Saturday night. Again? There's a lot of exits in my in mobile arena. You might you leave lived before in my then. House. You Just make sure you house. show up, bitch. You lived Just in my house. Just make sure you show yeah, up, not, bitch. I lived in Maritza's house. I didn't live in your house, bitch. Maritza paid the motherfucking bills. My house. Your children. Yeah, that's a good one. Forget about your children. You deadbeat, motherfucking dad. You a deadbeat. Maritza paid for our fucking shit. You're, hey, you're a handout little bitch. You I'm took rich. the GVP so loan. You I took fucking Obama phone. Hey, you still got your Obama phone? You still got your Obama phone? I had an Obama phone. Yeah, you fucking did, you yeah, lying ass me. piece yeah, of shit. Shut you're a lying ass fucking piece of shit, bitch. Yeah, that's right. 
Right? What? Right? What? What, bitch? You ain't gonna do shit. You're all talk, no walk, bitch. You're a phony Montana. This ain't Tony Montana, it's phony Montana. Fucking bitch, you ain't doing shit. That's clever, pussy. You ain't gonna do shit. You got You're that mad talk, herpes bro. still, though. You're all talk. You got that mad herpes. Hey, John, what hey now he's a doctor. Still got this guy didn't graduate in middle school. I'm a girlfriend. 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 I'm a Kobe has shown some improved striking over his past couple of fights. I wonder, do you believe that he's going to be willing to stand and trade with you, or do you think it's going to be wrestling from moment one to moment 25? It's going to be him sniffing my dick the whole time. I'll do whatever the, the fuck time. I want to this Like he always does in every fight. Fucking double sniffer. digit losses on his bum oh, ass fuck career. Up, hey, sack for all you math wizards out there. If this guy won his next dick 45 sniffer. fights in a row, he still dick wouldn't, wouldn't have a better winning percentage than me. Dick he sniffer. could win 45 fights in a row. Dick he still sniffer. wouldn't have as good a winning still percentage still sniffing than me. Dicks for a living, bro. You're fucking irrelevant. You're still you spanking me. I, I gave you this main event. You fucking hey Dana, what's his two coward? pay per views combined? Ungrateful add up to? fucking coward, dude. What is his two pay per views combined? Ungrateful coward, dude. Huh? Dude, what are your two pay per views combined? Add up to? Huh? Night, Relevant what? Shit. What is hey, two pay per views? Add up to? Shut the bro. fuck up. Let Dana shit. talk, bitch. You You're scared to hear the truth? Shut the fuck up. Dana, what is his two pay per views? Add up to? So scared. What are your two pay-per-views add up to? So scared. What are your two pay-per-views add up to? Bro, you know you. How could you hey, say irrelevant, you dumb fuck? Up, you can't bro. even spell you that, you fucking shit, idiot. Bro. He said oh, I'm the king hey, of cardio. I, spell, I, got I got two lungs. I got a cold lungs. fucking degree, you fucking idiot. You didn't even graduate middle school. I got two lungs. School. I'm the king of cardio, he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's so funny. Last, lastly, for Hori, I just want to ask you, Hori, in this fight, what, what, means, what is success here for you? Is just a victory success? Is it a decision success? Or does this have to be a knockout for you to feel this was a success? Oh, the, the only way to deal with a bitch like that, you got to end his ass, bro. I'm sending him back to the casinos, sending him back to the gaming halls, you know. Got to knock his ass out, bro. And then after that, he's probably going to come. Hey, George, you still friends after. with Dustin hey, or you backstab him too? Jorge Masvidal is hey, my best friend. Hey, you still friends with Dustin, you backstab him? Jorge Masvidal is my you best still friend. still friends with Dustin? Jorge Mas hey, I'm trying to give you bitch? some friendly advice. I'm trying to no, give you some friendly advice. Nobody got nothing nice to say about you, bro. Dustin's John kid Jones, sounds like Woodley, he's got an Irish accent. I just want to make sure Dustin gets a paternity test. You're trying to see Connor's again. the daddy. The same thing he was doing in the Usman fight. He was trying to set up the me and him fight because he knew he was going to lose the Usman. He knows he's going to lose to me. You're such a bum. Trying dude. to build this is up be the easy work on Saturday now. night. You're such a fucking bum. This is going to be easy work, dude. This ain't even going to be a, a walk in the park, dude. Just show up Saturday, bro. I'm gonna Dana, walk you like a fucking dog, just quickly bitch. for you, I wanted to ask. I mean, we don't see non-title headliners very often, but clearly this is a, a big. Hey, this is a title What's fight. What's the interest like right now? I mean, can you gauge what business is going to be like on this based on what you're seeing so far? I mean, look, look at the. This is this is Thursday at the, at the uh, press conference. Yes, yes. This is a big fight. People care, and this is the fight people wanted to see. That's why we made it. Dana, make him put that BMF title on the line, man. He's got to defend it. He's got to vacate. Dana, 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 why can't I make it? I'm money? the people's champ. You don't show nothing, champ. bitch. I'm Donald Trump's favorite you don't fighter. Show nothing, I got bitch. all the titles on the line Saturday night. You don't want to miss it on pay per view. Look at that cheap ass suit you're wearing, bro. You don't make no damn money, bro. Son, you couldn't afford this suit cheap with ass. all the alimony you got to pay to Marissa. The only thing cheaper than that suit you're wearing is those fucking fake ass teeth that I'm gonna knock the fuck out on Saturday. The only bro. fake thing knock here is you, up. phony Montana. Phony Montana. Whoa. Oh, that last. was a good one, bro. I got a fucking neighborhood around Whoa, my chest right now. Whoa, that was a good one, man. A fucking neighborhood. You go get your jewelry from you the middle necklace, of the fucking huh? mall. But you don't get no pay per views. You're dumb and ignorant and broke. You're wasting your money on. I'm Twitter broke, but you gotta pay half your paycheck to your wife. <laughs> At least I got half a check to give out, bitch. You don't make no money. Oh man. Qu question hey, for Dana. For Dana, we've seen a lot of rivalries in UFC history. I'm wondering where do you think this one ranks up with the rest? What's the question? Where does this rivalry rank in the terms of UFC history? No, I, 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 don't know, I don't know if there's ever been one like this where the guys were actually teammates, roommates, friends, cornermen. You know, these guys, uh, these guys go way back. And I, I don't know if there's ever been one like this. Not even close. I want to ask both of the guys. Guys, you're fighting on Saturday, but do you see an end to this fight that will d d need a rematch afterwards? Will this fight need a rematch, or will you make it look decisive? After this, oh, it's gonna be, be so decisive. Casinos. This bitch couldn't even hold my wet jock strap. What's he fucking gonna do? He ain't gonna do shit, man. Uh, he knows down my best friend. Uh, he's scared, man. Gambling he's fucking scared, bro. After. Every time he fucking starts getting mad, it's because he's scared. So uh, he wants to act like friend. a little child over there. It's because he didn't uh, fucking graduate Masvidal's middle school. Shut the he was behind fuck behind balls, being a. Shut he was behind bars, being a fucking thief. 
Gentlemen over there. Grand theft please. piece of shit. Gentlemen over there. This For all the fucking people fucking. you stole from, you piece of shit. No. No, 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 no. Can you guys hear me? All right. I can hear you just fine. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What do you got? This is the first time you guys have been in close proximity to each other for a long time. This is directed to both of you. What were the emotions when you saw each other just when you walked across the stage? Just another bitch in my path. Kobe? Dude, that's a lame Go ahead and copy me, bro. That's Go ahead and copy me. Say, bro. pretty good at that. Hey, can you tell me how a bill up. becomes a law? You, so, you know so much about up. politics. Up. No, just tell me how a bill becomes a law. Trump, Trump bro, knows you're bro. phony. That's what I know. He calls you're your phony. He calls bitch. my phone after every fight. How many times you went to White House? You're dumb bitch. How many times you went to White House? You're dumb How many bitch. times you went to White House? Oh, yeah, you dumb never went. Bitch. You never went, Junior. You never you're fucking broke. went. You're, you're fucking dumb. nobody. Fucking you're bum. stupid. You wasted their money on the chain. I'm stupid, but you can't tell me how a bill becomes a law. How much did that cheap ass chain cost? How much did that cheap ass chain cost? Yeah, you don't know shit, bro. How much did that watch don't cost? You? Talk, dog. you don't have no money. Don't no, my bank. Go in your fucking house, bitch. Okay. All your money's okay. going to your ex-wife, Marissa, bro. Let's let's going say that. Let's say let's say that watch cost more in my house. Wasn't a smart idea, bro. You don't have no money. man. Don't forget about your kids, bro. Dumb. Don't forget about your kids, bro. Keep mentioning my kids, bro. You're a deadbeat. Keep mentioning my kids, bro. You're a fucking deadbeat. Keep mentioning my kids. What are you gonna do about it? Oh yeah, you ain't gonna do shit. Fuck you up on Saturday and get paid for it. You ain't gonna fucking do shit, bro. I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna get residuals off of it. Oh yeah, I'm sure my you ass are, up. bro. You ain't getting shit. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna be getting yeah, money for you for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah, you sound so serious. Just like this Nobody trading believes, card here, man. I already got like two thousand no dollars offer on this. Dumb ass in here, bro. More money. We know I'm you're get trying to you. cash out. Is your last paycheck? Your yeah, give him fucking these pennies for him. His last paycheck. He's going out. He's getting retired on Saturday night. Did you have another question? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Bitch. Guys, is there any part of you that? Yeah, I'm well, gonna what's the word I'm trying to use? Is there any part of you that are sad that your relationship has taken the turn that it has? Because obviously you two did have a bond before, and they're not listening to a word I'm saying right now. But <laughs> uh, Jorge, you want to answer that one? I'm sorry, say it again. <laughs> I was at. <laughs> I was asking you, to pay is, attention. is there any part of you, uh, well, this is for both of you, is there any part of you decide that your relationship has descended to what it is now? Because there was a point in time where there was, I don't want to say a bromance, but there was a, a tight-knit friendship. So is there any part of you that's the, sad and that is He's a chameleon. He's fake as fuck, and I, and I fell for it just like John Jones did when he stole John Jones's clothes, just like Tyron Woodley did, and now Woodley can't stand How funny. Either. Bring John Jones. So it's a track the record that you have, buddy, that I don't. It's Ask somebody else in the sport who I got they problems love, they with. They love the, they're big criminals. Yeah, let's support those guys. <laughs> You're stumbling like a bitch. You're so fucking and, stupid. Uh, keep copying me. A question for Dana. Obviously, there's a, there's a war going on between Russia and Ukraine. Alexander Volkov's in a headline, UFC London, in two weeks' time. Is there an update on him potentially being able to enter the country? Off the top of my head right now, I don't, I, I don't know where we're at with, the, with, with that. But, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. And final one for me. We were, we've been working on it, obviously, ever since this whole thing started. Do you have a contingency plan in place in case you can? Yeah, we're, we're, we're working on that, yeah. L London's happening, you know, co-main event of this fell out this week and we got it fixed. We're pretty good at doing that. Cheers, thank you. All right. Go ahead. Dana right here. Dana, I think people are wondering how is there no King of Miami belt for such a rivalry like this one? Was that to me? What's yeah. the question? Why is there no King of Miami belt for this particular fight? That's a Kobe henchman right there. Why would there be one? Hey, you want to know why there's no King of Miami belt? Because this bitch trains in Broward County. He lives in fucking Coconut Creek. I fucking train in Hialeah, Florida. I live in Hialeah. I'm me Dade County, bitch. I run this motherfucking city. I'm the king of Miami, bitch. You ain't gonna do shit about it. Jorge. I hope they answered your question. It does. Jorge, you don't have your belt, but would a baptism of Colby count as a defense of your BMF title, in your opinion? You gotta be a bad motherfucker to fight for that belt means you gotta be not making fun of people's kids and shit like that. And you gotta be a cool this motherfucker. This ain't a baptism. Never been, it's gonna be Jorge Masvidal's funeral mouth, on Saturday bitch. night. Just make sure you get the pay per view. I promise you, you pay your whole money. Please get the pay per view. Because I get paid on it. He doesn't. Do Please get the pay per view. Tell him, Kobe. Tell him, pay pay tell him get the pay per view. Tell him get the pay per view, boy. Tell him get the pay per view. Tell him get the pay per view. Come on. Tell him get the pay per view, boy. That's it. Don't, bitch. You're not even smart enough to figure that out. It's a separate stone. I don't give a fuck. This one's a fight about money. Colby, uh, there's been a lot of talk about your Damian Maya fight, specifically the post-fight interview. Do you still stand by the comments you made? 
Absolutely. Brazil's a fucking dump. And, and he We're has Brazilian coaches in his All corner. Filthy animals, he has Brazilian man. coaches in his man, corner. They treated me like shit. I, I walk out to the octagon, they're saying, you buy more, you will die. They grab my American flag trying to uh, burn it. What, what's respectable about that? If you're going to dish it, you better be able to take it. All right, fair. Uh, Jorge, this one's for you. Do you feel like this fight would have only happened with a rivalry, or is it there a possibility that if you guys had remained amicable and Colby had stayed at ATT, this could have been a fight that would have happened under good terms? Regardless, it would have happened because this scumbag artist ripped off my coach, so whether it was in the street or the UFC... Ripped off your coach? Bro, why do you keep saying this fake narrative? Up, Go ask your daddy, narrative. Dan Lambert. We Shut pay 5% up. to our gym. Hey, Shut guys, we pay 5% up. to our gym. He exactly. He just the 5%. But Paulino's not part of American to Top fucking, Team. Hey, I, I don't have to pay anybody. The only piece that I have to pay is my gym, and I pay my you gym shook, You shook his That's hand That's why Dan Lambert like never said shit. But you're not. Shut your mouth, you fake you fucking piece of shit. You shook his hand like a man, but you're not. Fake news, bro. You're a socialist little bitch. Shut I'm up, socialist. bro. Yeah, you are. You fucking lived off sure. the Obama phone and food stamps. Sure. And you got a sure. PPP loan. Uh, I thought you were so PPP. rich. Why'd you get a PPP loan? Don't stand up like you're going to do so anything, rich, bitch. I thought you were so rich, bro. I thought you were so rich, bro. Show so the paperwork on that PPP pay -per loan. Bro, you're a Show bum, the paperwork dude. on the PPP loan. Hey, you can look it up. It's paperwork. fucking public records, you fucking moron. Ladies and gentlemen, go look it up. I'm sorry to waste your data. Look it up and see if this is true. If I got a PPP loan. That's so fucking stupid. fucking moron. That's why you didn't graduate middle school. He was behind bars. Did you have another question? press conference. Yeah, one more for you, Dana. This is regards to the canvas inside the octagon, the actual material. It's pretty well known that the canvas is just not great for ground game, for grappling, jujitsu. But there's also been problems with the stand-up when it comes to slippage on the logo decals. Is this a problem? Problems on the UFC's radar at all? Are you guys working to improving this? That canvas couldn't be any more coarse. It couldn't be any more, that, that, that canvas will take your skin right off. It, right. it couldn't be any more coarse. It, Are you guys looking to improving that to help with the ground game? That's uh, the best, trust me. We, we've looked at tons of different uh, canvases. First of all, you, for the striking, you have to make sure that it doesn't slip. You're always going to have problems with, with, can, with canvas that has paint on it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not that slippery. It's really not that slippery. And when it goes to the ground, yeah, you're going you're gonna to lose some skin. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hey, at the back here, they, they, they say a man who fights on his emotions is a man who is lost at sea. And this is a pretty emotional fight. So what do you do to your psyche to make sure that you go in the cage cold and without emotion? for both of you. You can go first, Hoy. Just another fight for me, and I'm just making a lot of money. That's the only difference. Bro, this is just this a another Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, me slapping this dude around. I mean, he has to copy me. Ah, he can't even make up his own fucking work. I mean, Shut this up, is easy bitch. money, bro. I Shut can't up, believe bitch. they paid Don't me to copy me. this dude. I told Dan I'd fight him for free. He's a bum. Go ahead, Jamal. Question for Game Brad Moss at all. There's a large mural on the wall of ATT of your knee connecting with the skull of Ben Askren. How confident are you that there will be an additional mural on the wall of ATT depicting something from this fight sometime in the near future? There's 100% there's going to be something there, you know, when I end this fucking idiot. So I just got to get to work on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Break sure. this guy's face. You keep telling yourself that. You oh, don't really yeah. believe that. Shut the fuck you up. You don't really fucking believe that. Stop lying to yourself, dude. Shut Come the on, fuck man. Stop up. lying to yourself. George, be honest. Be honest with How much people, money do you man? owe to all There's the loan sharks the in South Florida? Has the ship yeah, sailed bro. completely on the on, BMF bro. title on the line for this fight? You got to be a bad line. motherfucker yeah, no. to compete for that, so. Yeah, they don't you got any more questions? They don't Last question is, based off your conversation with former President Trump, how does he feel about this matchup? And do you feel confident he's going to phone the winner of this fight Saturday evening? Nah, he's just phoning me no matter what. Yeah, he I'm actually sure. knows he's what a phony Kobe before is. In any of your career huh? fights, he's done that before yeah. every fight that I've had. But uh, is what the fuck is he going to call you? Dude, you didn't Tell even everybody go why Trump doesn't you like you. You sat on the Amtrak Tell everybody feet away from his like plane. No That's the only time he greeted you. Tell everybody why Trump doesn't like you no more. Tell everybody why Trump doesn't like you no more. Junior went to the fucking debate front row. He don't give a fuck. Tell everybody why Trump doesn't like you. He doesn't like criminal thugs, bro. He don't like that. You're Fidel Castro Jr. He doesn't like socialism. You have a question? Yes, ma'am. Socialism. Um, so we know you guys were buddies and now turn against each other. So you will take Saturday night's fight more like a business, I mean personal business settling, or it's more like a job? It's always a job. I, I knew a long time ago getting into the sport that I deal with pieces of shit like him left and right. So it's just business for me. Another big paycheck, that's it, you know. The reason and the way I got here is for keeping my emotions in check. So Saturday, I'll be doing the same thing, just celebrating a little bit hard after I How break his fucking They send you in the stretcher? Years. You're Shut up, bitch. They asked the man night. a question, not the boy. I know you're still sleeping from your last oh, fuck night. Fuck up, dick sniffer. You're a bum. Shut up, boy. Bum, journeyman. 
Did you have another question? Yes, and if uh, Kobe after the fight and then he tells you all this drama is just for business, not towards you, will you accept that? He, he won't ever do that because he knows that every chance I get, I'm going to stick him in the fucking face. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah, all oh. fucking talk. You ain't At every shit, chance bro. I get, if I you would, If you wanted to stick me in the face, face you would have done it. I walked by you a hundred fucking times. You don't do fucking shit, bro. You're all fucking talk, dude. You're trying to sound so tough to the crowd, man. Tell him, so, tell him buy that pay-per-view, Kobe. See how stupid tell him buy that pay-per-view. Tell him buy that pay-per-view, Kobe. We ain't getting no points on Saturday. Tell him buy that pay-per-view, Kobe. No more fights. This guy's not going to have a minute to fight ever again after I'm done with him. You got buy that paper. What's yeah. up with that Matt herpes you got, Kirby? Mr. Covington. Go ahead, hon. Um, so people say that you're acting aggressively before the fight, is um, that you're trying to get more publicity to sell the pay-per-view. What, what's your take on that? That's fake news. I'm just being myself. I'm turning it up to 100. I don't care what people think of me. You went on Candace. People Olsen are going to love me. The, people the are going to hate me. The UFC was going to cut me if I didn't change. Then, hey, guess the what? You're was going to cut me if I didn't do this. fucking nobody's saying. He's a fucking irrelevant bum. The UFC was going to cut me if I didn't change my ways. So I had to do this. Yeah, I've got a question for Jorge. Jorge, your coaches are here. Your American top teammates are here. How much pressure do you feel to deliver a win for them? He brought that drug addict Mike Brown with him. The guy that did GHB before all his fights. He fought Ronnie Yaha on GHB among all the other steroids he did in his career. You brought that addict with you, George? Did you bring that druggie? George. So the question yourself. was, Jorge, explain how much yourself, pressure George. do you feel to deliver a win for your team and your coaches? Deadbeat uh, fucking coaches. It's just standard. It's we got the be best amazing. coaches in the world. We're going to celebrate so hard. Thank and God. He hates them all because he got kicked out of there. Carnero, you know, Charlie Weiss. We could see where the Martin hatred Lopez. comes from. Look how mad Those he are got. the best coaches in the world. They're not criminal. He doesn't want to let me talk. They're not American fucking top guys that kicked do drugs and GHP like his American coaches. top team kicked you out. So damn, They kicked you out too, you dumb fuck. You went begging back. I didn't. I found a better place. I'm back at American top team. Second question. I'm at American top team right now. I'm at American top team right now. No oh, American you mean American Top, top Team, team right like you're going to be doing on Saturday night? Who gives a Second fuck? Question that for Jorge. Jim. I'm at American Top you Team right now. I'm the best fighter to ever fuck. come out of that fucking You, you mentioned that Kobe's not getting a part of the pay-per-view points. Do you know this for certain, or is this he something? He said it himself saying? already. He already said that he forfeited the pay-per-view because he didn't want it. He said, dumb fuck. That's what I want to fight this guy for free, bro. Fuck. He's only fighting me because it's his You're last big paycheck. He's got to pay a lot of alimony and child support. One more for Dana. Know that pay-per-view, Kobe. You sell it, boy. You sell it well. Dana, you having fun up there? You have what? <laughs> you having fun up there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> My question for you is, a lot of talk is made of fighters promoting and perhaps some of what their promotional act is. You've got a lot of security behind you. We see a Metro came up quick, fast, in a hurry. How much of this is an act and how much is this a real heat for you? Well, if anybody doesn't think that one of these two might do something today, you're out of your fucking mind. That's why we have everybody up here and, uh, you know, I, yeah. This is real. Go ahead. Uh, Dana, um, Colby has obviously said that he was going to be cut from the UFC before he made that post-fight speech after beating Damian Meyer. Is this true? What, what, what's the question? Colby said that he was going to be cut from the UFC before he made that post-fight speech after beating Damian Meyer. Is this a conversation you had? Was he going to be cut from the UFC? I'm out when uh, Sean Shelby oh, and yeah, Dan Lambert stupid to pay attention, before the Damian Maya moron. fight that, that they were going to cut me because they didn't like me. So that's what he was, he was asking that question. Yeah. You didn't take the fight? No, they were, they were going to cut he me didn't regardless of what Brazil. happened in the fight with Damian Maya. That's what Sean Shelby told idiot, Dan Lambert. Bro. You could go I ask I have no him. idea. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. A long time ago. You. Um, Dustin Poirier, Masvidal's teammate, said he wants to come up to 170. How would a fight between you and him go? Oh, man, I'll beat them both up in the same night. I hope he's in the crowd, because after I'm done with this little bitch, I'm going to go get that little cuck Dustin afterwards in the crowd. And Jorge, you're about to stare off with Covington. What do you expect to see when you look into his eyes? Same shit I've always seen, a fucking pussy trying to act hard. Yeah, okay, yeah. You really believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the really fuck believe up. that? Bro, why are you so mad? All right, let's get All right, last, last right. one right here. Why are you so mad? Colby, real quick, is this over after Saturday? Will things be resolved between you and Jorge, or is there more after this? No, this dude's not allowed in my city, Miami, ever again. If I see him, he's getting sparked on sight, dropped on his head. The only difference is Saturday night, he's going to have the UFC to pay his fucking medical bills. 
And just real, real quick for, for George, I saw an announcement that you signed a new contract with the UFC, I, I think, earlier today. Any details you can give us about what that contract entails? My kids, besides that, my kids' kids are going to be good for a long time. So you sell that pay-per-view, boy. You job, saw that bro. pay-per-view. I know you don't talk you to your kids anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't talk to my kids. It's good to hear you talking about it, bro. Great fucking job, man. At least so return right, a call for Maritza you're one so time, right, bro. You're so right, bro. I don't talk to my kids. such a backstabbing little right, bro. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. I'm going to square these two off, and we'll see you on Saturday.